It's a beautiful day in Hong Kong and I'm not actually wearing my sun sink top today. Uh, it's just it's sunshiny for a change. Don't often see sunshine, nearly everywhere I go it rains. So I've just done a number of shorts which I'll link to this. But I just want to talk about lots of the benefits of sun sink, why sun sink is so good. Well, it, we can't say we're the most prettiest. I'm not going to say, oh my God, this is a wonderful ergonomic design. These things are mounted outside, they're in the weather. These are IP rated, they're designed to go in the weather. It's very important, our batteries are designed to run at ultra low temperature, very important. They are robust, they're reliable, the designs, the fundamental design has been in production now uh, for almost 10 years, almost 10 years. So the fundamental design is old, it's mature. It's a little bit like going on an aeroplane. Do you really want to go on a brand new aircraft or do you want to go on one that's been flying for years and years? Personally, I want to go on this one that's been flying for years and years. If you're going to install inverters and batteries as an installer or as an end user, buy the old, reliable, super duper, long tried, tested stuff. That's important. New stuff is quite nice and whatever, but it's not like a mobile phone or a television where you can just take it back to the shop. These things are installed, and if your installer's gonna be, a, these things are there, part of your house, you might be mortgaging it, they're gonna be a lot for a long, long time. So you want something that's super duper reliable. You know, I see some inverters, and they, 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 don't, use, um, they don't use LCD screens. They've got little light bulbs or LEDs or ping pong, whatever they are. Quite pretty, I'm not arguing it. But you know, we have an LCD, a touch LCD. All of our inverters have LCD because I think it's important. You don't want a huge LCD because, you know, as everyone says, a big LCD is can burn in time. Smaller LCDs will last much longer. That's an absolute fact. So we tend to keep the LCD fairly small. Touch screen. If you want to know what's going on in the inverter, you can touch the screen and you've got a complete flow. Everything is there. You know, I love this. I love it when the sun is shining and the dials all rev up and the load is coming. I personally think, wow, you know, I'm looking at my inverter, I've got one in my own house. And when, when we start getting, when things are starting to happen, the sun is there and the load is there and the dials all shoot up. And it, you know, a bit like, like a car. And you're in a car and you rev your engine and you see the, t the tachometer come up, it feels great. That, that, and that, and, you know, okay, some people might just like LEDs but, and it's a personal preference, and if you've got any comments, please comment if you're, an LED, if, you're, if you're a guy that just likes LEDs. But talking to most end users, they do like to see what's going on and like to understand. Now, of course, you can do it from an app, and our stuff can do it completely from an app, and you can program it locally. You've got every, every different way of programming it. But it's very, I think, if, you, if your internet goes down or there's a problem, then you still want to see what's going on in your system. And I suppose it's a bit like driving your car and not having people like big dashboards in cars but you know do you think it's a good idea not to have a dashboard maybe a couple of leds and if you go over the speed limit or bing it lights up and tells you over the speed limit bing the engine started or do you want to see what's going on and i personally like to see what's going on i like to be able to touchy feely control and i think that's quite important you know i i think really you know to me it's important robustness is important you all of our products are solid they're designed to be solid. They're designed to last. I, I've got to be honest, you know, I see lots of really, really pretty inverters out there, you know, glamorous and beautiful, but they're very different. They're not the same. We talk about AI, artificial intelligence, um, machine code learning um, is what I believe it's called, machine code learning, um, self-learning algorithms. The, the, the idea is, is it can, the machine can maximize your use and the efficiency of the, um, the energy, the solar you've got coming in, and your batteries and everything can be maximized by it. It can change the settings. Well, guess what? SunSync will have this very soon. Well, we haven't got, we've got it. Uh, we just haven't released it. We're about to do user trials. We have the most amazing AI for inverter developed in the United States of America, exclusive use for SunSync, exclusively for SunSync. And if you've already got a SunSync inverter, you'll be able to upgrade it just on an app, subscribe to the Air version, and that will be it. And that's coming very soon. Um, there is a limited number of user, uh, beta, beta uh, version, if people are interested in beta software, we can offer that. So that, that's actually coming soon. You know, 
I, I see nowadays people talking about um, talking about gateways. You've got your inverter, and then you've got to buy uh, an MPPT. Something needs a separate MPPT, even you don't have an MPPT. So you've got to buy a gateway. You've got to buy an MPPT. You've got to buy all the extra bits, it's like the old days again. It's all going back to the old days. A bit of this, bit of that, bit of everything. Well, we haven't changed. It's all built in one. You want a gateway? How much does a Sunsync gateway cost? Nothing. It's built in. We have a gateway built in. Every single Sunsync inverter has a gateway built in. It can take your it can take your essential loads, your non-essential loads. You don't need any separate gadgets, gizmos, boxes, whatever. And you're not going to have to pay X number of dollars. You know, even as a hundred, two hundred dollars for a gateway. Some of them even charging five hundred dollars for a gateway. It's built in. There's nothing extra. You don't need gadgets, gizmos. Inside every single something from the all-in-one units to the these are fifties to the eighties. Soon, soon we'll have the hundreds. It's all built in. We have built-in changeover. That's what gateways change over. You've got, you've got the, the unit connected, and if you want it to supply the grid, you have to have a relay. Well, we don't even have a relay in ours. We use a common bus. So it disconnects from the grid, and it will still supply. So it, it, by doing this, it reduces the changeover to almost zero. Yeah, Sunsync, almost zero, it does it already. It's always done it. That's about our design. You know, we have amazing LCD. We have built-in gateway. We have units that can be mounted outdoors. They meet the new, in the United Kingdom, the new regulations, the past regulations, the design for robustness. They're not designed for prettiness. They're designed for robustness. Something's gonna be lasting years. If you're gonna get these things fitted in your house, you, you don't want something that's going, oh, I'm gonna look, the, 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 the engineer can save 20 dollars or 20 pounds. I can buy this Okie Cookie 2000 inverter. It's never been tested. Or I've got this super duper one. It's not like mobile phones. If you have a problem with a mobile phone, you can take it back. An inverter is fitted in your house. It's for a long-term fitting. So what else is going on? Well, your inverter communicates to uh, through an app. The app is not the inverter to the phone. It goes through a massive load of machines. Uh, and I said before, I'm not a, um, an IT guru. I'm, just, I'm an electrical engineer. But I see this sort of plan and how it goes through on the servers. And these servers are really complicated servers. We host our service in Germany and in London. We don't host them in China, but we host them in Europe. Um, and that's really important. It's, it, this, we, we went through a little bit and people say, oh yeah, but your server was off a while. Yeah, we did. We upgraded. We upgraded our security because we want something that's gonna last and last. We don't want something that could disconnect, but we want something that's gonna last. And especially with bringing the artificial intelligence, the AI, we want the best product on the market with the best support. Talk about support. Do you know Sunsync have about 80 support engineers? Full-time engineers supporting the product. We have South African support engineers whole in, in, in Ferndale. We have um, UK support engineers a lot. We even have people who got on the road to support if necessary. We have Dutch, German, French. We have a central support office. We even have in-app support. If a user has a problem, real people, talking to real people. If you have an issue with your, with your um, system, you can use the app and you can talk to somebody. You're not going to talk to an artificial intelligence, you talk to a robot. I hate talking to them. Sometimes you go on these airline things and you're asking questions and this robot is asking them. Why do I want to talk to a robot for? You want to ask a question about your system, try it. Try it on your system. Go on to the support on, the on your phone, ask what question you want. Ask them, you are talking to a real person. person. You know, that's important. So I'm talking about LCDs, important. Tick box, IP rating, tick box, robustness, not prettiness. Something's gonna be reliable, something's gonna be, it's been around for a long, long time. You know, I, I will be the first to admit, we, we sold, we got a lot of systems installed, and I'll be the first to admit at the beginning, the early days, yeah, there was issues. Every, everybody, every new product has issues. It was a long time ago, it was years and years ago, but every new product has issues. You have learning things. When we were connecting to generators on boats in, in 2018, we had we, we did some of the set things. You know what, some, some inverters can't even connect to a generator. Mm, we can connect to a generator in several different ways. Uh, nice we've learned, yeah. we've nice. learned how to connect, how to control generators, how to AC couple, how to parallel, 
how to make big systems, little systems, small systems. We've, th this learning has come for us for years and years now. And hopefully some of you guys are learning and understanding our technology. But our technology is different. Our UI is different, our back end is different. There's many differences. And very soon, we, we've got some of the new stuff. We've got the Cure launching with some absolutely amazing features. But the most important thing is reliability. Ease of use, ease to install, nice LCD, robustness, being able to AC couple, and you don't want any extras like gadgets and gizmos to do, you know, gateways. That's a, that's a new buzzword, gateway. Separate MPPT, separate gateway, separate everything. You don't need it. You absolutely don't need it. You know, the Samsung, if you've already got an existing system, you can AC couple it. What does that mean? If your system is already connected to the fuse board, you can connect one of, maybe it's a smaller inverter, maybe it's one of the life links, maybe it's, it's, it's a mini beast, and you can connect it on a separate fuse spare on the AC. So you take the grid, connect the fuse spare, the CT coil of this will pick up the export, and when the, in, when the, when the local system starts to export power, because you're not self-consuming it, presuming if you're on the grid side, it will start the battery. If you're on the load side, it will do exactly the same thing. If you're on the load side and the batteries are full, then it frequency, it can frequ it can do one of thing, it can shut off the other inverter or it moves its frequency slightly, called frequency shifting. You know, it was all a buzz where people forget about the old stuff now. It's all about making it pretty. It's not all about making it pretty. It's about making a reliable product that's going to be good and it's going to be absolutely amazing. We've got lots of videos programming. The new inverters, the Cure, we've got an amazing UI. It's really nice. But if you buy the system, you know, it's so simple. You know, I don't, we keep things simple. We keep things really, really simple. Alphanet connectors, plug in, whatever, connect safety, safety, safety. Safety is important. Safety is really important. So safety, reliability is important. Ease of use, support for your customer, the end customer, if they need help, if the, if the installer disappears and they still need help or at two o'clock in the morning, on a Sunday morning, and they've got a question about their inverter, they can use their app, the phone, and they can ask a question seven days a week, 24 hours a day, in about 30 different languages. Yeah, we support all different languages. Some of you say, oh, you just support, uh, I don't know, some obscure language, I don't know. You know, maybe, I, 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 we support many, many languages. You want more information about what we can do, and there's some videos, and we'll link to some of the videos of that. So, there, I'm trying to give you lots of reasons why, why we try to be, you know, these things are South African proof, British proof, British <laughs> weather proof. You know, these things are designed to be strong, support all weather, reliability, reliability. You know, we also have open API. Um, you know, some people want to build their own platform. We will support you in. So I see in South Africa, and some of the South Africans are really, really, really clever on this stuff. And I see some amazing systems coming out of South Africa. Really clever. And yeah, you know, and I, I will get let you into a secret. Our AI, our artificial intelligence, um, uh, this machine code learning, whatever it is, was developed in the United States. But the, the guys actually are South African. They, they emigrated to the United States. These guys are clever. These are really, really clever. So keep following, we'll set up more training, but I, I'm not doing so much about the wiring because most of you guys know how to wire the units. But, you know, all I want to do is I see so many people pushing videos, corporate videos about prettiness and all of this. And I'm just saying, because we've got the best product in the world. We've got the best app. We've got the best reliable, super duper reliability. Reliability is important. Yeah, you know, some people blow them up. They put the, the connectors the wrong way around. They overload the MPPTs with too low. You know, if you if your DC voltage is too low, and you, your amps can go up, you can overload the MPPTs. But you've got to be careful. You've got to put depending on your panel size, your upper and your lower. There's things like that. But we've we've covered that on lots of other training videos. So yeah, we you know to date, um, you know I tell you we we we've exchanged our returns rates less than one percent, less than one percent. Uh, nowadays, you know, we actually almost directly, our repair time, if they could bring it in, if somebody's blown it up themselves, is very fast. It's really, really fast. If you haven't blown it up yourself and it's a, you know, so-called out-of-box failure, which is very rare, very rare we've seen, um, because when we often see that, we, put, we connect them into the, the data log and you can see the beam view, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We exchange it. We don't, we don't quibble. There's no problems. There's no issue. We're here to support you guys. We're here to support the installers 
and we have the support teams in South Africa, in Europe, in Hong Kong, in UK, everywhere. And there's lots of other countries we're opening up. But it's important that we look after the fundamental business. And, and for us, you know, the heart of what we've done is South Africa and the UK. And we'll continue to support those markets. And if people, we listen, we're not a huge corporate, you know, um, uh, we, we are, I'm an engineer, I always say I, I'm an engineer, which is absolutely true. I'm an engineer, an electrical engineer. Uh, nothing special, but I'll answer questions. I'm not a salesman. I'm not a sleek salesman. I'm not an IT guy. I'm just a boring wires and stuff. I can wire a building up. I can wire a lot of things up but I'm a boring engineer. And me as a spark, talking to other sparks, I'm happy to, I often talk to people, sometimes I get overloaded with messages, but the world is, it's important to have reliability. Reliability, reliability is so important. Making the things strong. And you're gonna see a lot more things coming with, now soon there's a lot of people doing research about hacking inverters, how to hack the servers, how to hack them, how to, how to control people's lives. That's something to bear in mind how secure how secure is your inverter can it be hacked can somebody outside go and switch off all your electricity you know they've got a laptop they go do, 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 off your power's off they send some bug in, just like your laptop a virus send something can it be done that's important to be aware reliability make sure that the you know make sure and always make sure that you have security and it's security reliability is also security of the platform and you'll see recently we put a video up from one of the guys from Iona so host our who host our app and who host our service and they'll talk to you as a military grade server and why it's so important so thanks for following us I hope it's useful I've tried to cover a lot of points I've done a couple of shorts but I hope what I'm explaining is useful and why maybe I'm biased but I believe that SunSync inverters with the SunSync UI and don't need gateways and with our platforms and all the other things that we do is probably the most reliable, not the prettiest, but the most reliable product in the world. Thanks for following us.